All right, YouTubers, today we're working on this 2007 Hummer H3. It's got a 3.7, and it came in because the customer thought it was leaking oil. So when I got down here, it's actually antifreeze. Water pump's leaking, but... And real quick, let me show you where the oil filter is. Because he wanted an oil chain, but the oil is real clean. His brother said he just had it done about, I don't know, a month ago. On your passenger side, it's right there. But you've got two skip plates up here that you have to remove. It, and it takes like one, two, then three, four somewhere. Two more bolts and two more here. A total of six bolts. And you can probably just take off the first uh, skip plate and let the other one hang like that because you got to remove the uh these bolts here and you could probably hang like that to get to the filter and uh, or you can completely take them off i did because i was doing an inspection and checking out what i was uh leaking and i'll show you the skip plates all right here's the skip plate this is the front one this is towards the driver's side i mean now uh, towards the front of the vehicle and then you've got the second one and i'm not sure if i got this one right maybe this side goes over here Gotta turn it around, but that's what they look like. Maybe I don't know. I'd have to put it back on, but that's what the skip plates look like. And you can probably get away with just taking this one, and then this one would just kind of hang. So now that we got the skip plates off and we know what's going on, here's the uh, keep on the brain plug, but you've got this big radiator holes right here. I'm just gonna loosen that and drain it through there. I got this bucket to catch that antifreeze. Okay, let's make a mess. <clears throat> let's loosen this bad boy. Use this pick here. And I've got a smaller one here too. You can get them at Harbor Freight. And then I've got my homemade ones. But I think I'll be able to do it with this long one. Shove it in here, break the seal. Go all the way around. Told you we were gonna make a mess, didn't I? Told you how to get ready for it. Just gonna push it back. And here we go. Look, and then we open the uh, radiator cap, let that water flow faster. See, did you hear it? Whoa. There we go. Making a mess. This works pretty good to clean up the water. Okay, now we want to remove this fan, and it's got a bolt there that we have to break loose. And if I remember correctly, last time I did one of these, I didn't have the proper size. They have a tool. I remember I fabricated one, and that worked. I took a one and five sixteenths and just made it bigger. And that's worked for me. I was trying to get in there with the bolts on there, but the bolts are on my way. All right, YouTubers, this is a tight squeeze. I got the two in there, and then the wrench. The wrench is on the bolt, and then the tools holding on two of those uh, little bolts. See them right there. Let's see if I can zoom in for you. And it's very tight on this vehicle. I don't know why, but it is. We try to break it loose now. These bad boys are usually real tight, so I'm going to uh, use a 
uh, ratchet, half inch ratchet with the tool. And then with the other hand, pull on the tool this way. Just don't wanna knock it off the, okay, here it goes. I'll push that way. <clears throat> there we go. Did it loosen that? Yeah. And I'll show you when I get it out how you use that tool. Okay, and again, I still have the belt on. That's going to help me with some tension. And uh, we'll take it out here pretty soon. Okay, uh, we're on the top view, and now it's just a matter of spinning it, and it should come off. And always just be careful that you're not going to hit that radiator and put a hole on it or something. I see some uh, like corrosion on that radiator. Hopefully it's not messed up. Oops. Camera's so hard to keep here. You see how that bolt's starting? It's fixing to come off. Oof. I heard something back here. I was looking at my dog. Okay, I hope you saw that. I just kept spinning the fan till it came off. Okay, now that it's off, we're gonna take the shroud and pull the fan and the shroud out. Okay, now that we got the fan loose, because like I said, make sure you don't put a hole in the radiator. Now we need to loosen the uh, two bolts on the uh, radiator uh, fan shroud that, that's hooked up to the radiator. One of it had the two bolts, we take them off. They're missing. Supposed to go right here. Right there. Supposed to have one right on the bottom here. Where my finger's at. Not the big hole, the bottom hole. That big hole just goes through. And same thing on this side. Right where that big hole is at. Let's put this over here. Guys. Right here. Let me point. Right there in that slot, that hole that's supposed to have bolts, but they're gone. It doesn't have any. So let me unhook this little hose. We can uh, pull this shroud. Let me get some pliers. We'll do it this way. There you are, guy. Here you go. Gonna get some pliers and unhook that. There we go. That's all it is. Okay, get it out of the way. And they should come up already. Okay, I've been trying to pull this up and it does pop. It's pretty close to this uh, AC line, so be careful. But I can't clear it. Then it's got like a little lip here that hooks up right in. See, right in there. But this side isn't popping up. And something's holding it down there. Let's go down there here in a little bit and see what's going on. Okay, hopefully I can see. Here's that. Great uh, AC line, you don't want to be careful. So I'm gonna pull on this and here's that lip. Okay, I'm clearing this already, but it's stuck here. I'm just gonna pry it gently. Okay, be careful. So now it's loose. But see on this side, okay, here we go. All right, now we're gonna pull with the uh, fan out. Okay, grab the fan and the shroud and let's go up. It's gonna be tricky guys. There we go. There we go. The fan and the shroud come out together. 
right there, just like that. I think what was going on, this tab right there was catching on because I think the other one was loose and that one, I guess it was just hooked on there with debris, trash, I guess. Okay, we're looking down. Here's the two little holes where that radiator goes. There's one over there, right over there on the bottom. That little slot, and then let me get out of the light. And that little slot right over there. That's where the bottom of the radiator goes, those two little plastic studs. Now I'm just undo these bolts right here. These four bolts, and I think that we use 13 millimeter. All right, now that we got more room, I'll show you how this tool works. What you do is you wanna hook up these two hooks on two of those bolts, just like that. And you adjust it to where you hook down two bolts and you close it. And like I said, it's tight squeeze, even right now that I got everything off. See, it's hooked on there now. Get that lamp on, it's hooked on there. Once you get it hooked on, then you take this wrench. And you can use this ratchet on the back, a half inch. And you put it on the big nut. Can you see that? It goes on that big nut. And then once you have it in there, all you do is hold this one and turn this one and it breaks it loose. And then you start taking the fan off. Okay, once it's loose, you gotta do is spin the fan and it comes out by itself. Just be careful, this is plastic. I have seen them break in there. But you're gonna have the shroud too though. Okay, I almost jumped again. I was gonna take these off. But Let's take the tension off the, the belt. Well, let's take the belt off. And remember the route, okay? If you have to draw a diagram or uh, draw a picture or something. So let's re uh, move the, or loosen the belt. I'm gonna go ahead and just use a ratchet, three quarter, uh, three eighths. And I just put a little adapter on it. That gives me a little more, you know, room. So I don't have to be real close to the, up here and hitting the motor. Just shove it in there and then go down, see, down, pull the belt off. Switch lights here, this light over here. All right, push down, take the belt off. Now I'm not gonna take it completely off. I'm just gonna put it up here somewhere. Now I don't need to take it completely off. There, it's out of my way right there. Just looped it around here. It's out of my way. Let's take these bolts off now. I can use the uh, cordless because uh, we have more room now. And again, they're loose already because I loosened them earlier. I get like dropped in the, the bolt. I dropped the bolt. Okay, now we're getting ready to reveal the uh, water pump. Get this pulley out of the way. Oops, belt still on it. Let me uh, let me draw a diagram because I know it's so simple, but I always forget how they go. Okay, I still have the belt on there, still on there. I guess you want to take it off, it's easier. Here's my diagram, my picture. Isn't that pretty? You know, it's funny, it's the simplest thing sometimes kicks my butt, like those belts. Sometimes I won't pay attention and I'm gonna have hell. I've gotta be looking them up, go to AutoZone and get a diagram. Okay, let's take the belt off. Oh, that's good enough, let's take the pull. And there's your water pump. <coughs> Excuse me. There's your water pump. Tiny little thing, huh? 
figure a Hummer to have a huge pump or something. Look at that thing. Wow. Let's get you a closer look. Ta da! And lights, action. Here's that little thing. Here's the new water pump. Just looks exactly like that one that's on the vehicle. It's got six, one, two, three, four, five, or five, one, two, three, four, five uh, bolts, and then the four up here comes with the gasket. And you see, there's a little ridge on this gasket, and then there's a little valley to dip on this one. Goes up with the ridge up. I'm, I'm pretty sure. Let me check. Yeah, you want that ridge facing you, but when you put it on the vehicle, it's facing the vehicle, okay? You can't mess it up. If you put it the other way, I don't think it'll match up. Let's try it. Yeah, see, it don't match up. It's off on the little slots there. So you can't mess it up. Let me put some light on it. See how they don't match up, match up the bolt pattern? So if you take it off, turn it with the ridge facing you when you have the pump this way. But when you're going to put it on, well, you can't mess it up, guys. Like I said, it won't match up. And when you put it with that ridge up, look, all the bolts match up. Perfect. All right. Let's take off that old one. Okay, let's remove the... Uh, water pump the bolts there are 10 millimeters set this water pump where it ain't gonna fall we'll probably leak some water so let me put that bucket down there okay we're going for that last booger and the pump will probably be stuck on there okay wiggle it take a uh, bar and gently don't go too crazy right here you got a lip just be real gentle I want to put a crack on that cover there we go a little bit more water okay now I'm gonna clean the surface because it's obvious this guy used quite a bit of a uh, silicon, some kind of a, you know, a sealant. And from these gaskets, the, the metal ones, they don't take any silicon. Hmm. I'm going to clean up that surface with this uh, little razor blade. And I think that gasket still hooked up on there, yeah. See if I can get it off in one piece. Yeah. It's the same kind of gasket. <coughs> Aluminum, metal, whatever you want to call it. So now we gotta clean this damn surface up. Dang it. Okay, let's put the pump on. Make sure you got it ready. Facing. So it's going to go, bam, put a screw, this one went all the way, now I'm going to put one on the bottom, okay I'm using the uh, cordless ratchet, but I'm not tightening them all the way, I just get them real close. And then I'll use the hand ratchet. I don't want to uh, break any bolts. Okay, you want to go in a crisscross pattern. Okay, that's getting tight. Okay, that felt a little snug. Now I'm going to go down to this bottom one. That felt snug. Then up here. Still loose as a goose. 
feels snug. Bottom one, right there feels good. And these got aren't very, very tight, guys, so don't go nuts on them. Let's pop right. Like you say, look up the, the specs. I don't want you to over tighten anything. Okay, and like I said, I'm trying to show off or be Mr. Badass, but I go by feel. I've done these water pumps a lot. I know how tight to go. Okay, let's put that pulley. And let's clean this real quick. Look, it's got a kind of crud in there. Okay, this is much better. Let's see. Trying to find the down slots here. Yeah. It's always fun. I think I got it by George. I got it on the first shot. It's already about 10 o'clock, I think, at night. I like working at night. You, know, you hear all kinds of stuff. Because sometimes you hear footsteps. You look behind you and it's nothing. Okay, I'm gonna hit these with the uh, impact cordless till they stop and Okay, let's see how this goes Where's my diagram? Okay, this went right through the bottom This went around like this okay, That went through the AC back there Oh, yeah, I can't see. I'm sorry. Can't really do it without getting any out of the way. Okay, now I'm gonna give it all I've got, all I'm worth, which is not much. And I'll put this there. I told you I wasn't worth much. Okay, then I'll pull it. Okay. Okay, guys, when y'all do this, make sure all of these, uh, the belts are on all the pulleys because if it's sticking out or it's halfway on it's going to make it harder for you to put it on that last uh, pulley and I think I, I'm on all of them yeah let's finish it up okay <clears throat> there we go that felt good I heard it I felt it snap in there it did not for sure and the routes Perfect, it's just like a perfect picture here, drawing. Okay. Okay, what went in next? No, just kidding. I'm gonna go ahead and put this hose in. It's easier to do from the top and then I'll clamp it through the bottom because I need to put that uh, bolt facing where you can get to it through the bottom. Damn, this right here is real loose. Okay, I think we can put the fan. See, now that we got the belt, it's holding tension for us and we can tighten them more. If they need any, let's see. Yep, see. Okay, now this is, I'm doing crisscross like a tire again. Okay, now you, oh, did I already get you? Okay, those are tight. Now don't forget, there's a little cover that was guarding the uh, threads on there. Take that off. Well, you can't forget because the fan won't go on there if you got this. I'm trying to hold the camera with one hand, guys. So that's why I'm having trouble taking these little plastic. It should be so simple to take off. There. So there's a little plastic ring. Okay, here we go in with the fan and the shroud. Remember, they're going together. Watch that radiator. Don't go slamming stuff around. Take your time. Oh. 
Oh, put a big old hole in the radiator. Now, better be quiet or it's gonna happen. Okay, make sure you're on those little dowels down there, the little slots. And I am. Now push down on it. Now we gotta get this. Now I'm gonna go through the bottom and check because this is the side of the game with a hard time and I think it's, it's it didn't hook up. Let me look. Okay, like I told ya, that didn't go through there. So I'm gonna leave the camera down here so y'all can watch and I'm gonna try to re readjust it. Yeah, let me know when uh, I'm on there. Am I on there, guys? Okay, thanks. Y'all can come back up. Now I'm gonna hide that with that little Oh man, I'm blind myself with the light. Put this, that's the way it went. And that's the way it went. Alright guys, come on. Let's get it back up here. I don't want you to fall asleep down there. Okay guys, hopefully this won't give us a hard time. But on both the sides, we need to take this, lift it up, and put it in there just like that. Well, I guess I'll do this side first. It's already in. Let's do the other side. This side's a little bit more tricky because we have that uh, AC line in the way. I'm going to reposition the camera so y'all can see this part and that. Okay. I'm going to want to hook up here. Okay. Cracked. What did I break? Do I need to buy him a new radiator? There. Yeah, just be careful. Take your time and kind of little. Got to rough it up a little bit, but don't get carried away. And always remember that fan. If something's not going in, remember you got that fan, and that fan might have uh, gotten caught somewhere, and you're trying to struggle, and that fan's keeping you from, you know, doing whatever you need to do. See. Start threatening on there. And that's tricky too. Instead of just turning it, I'm gonna try the wrench. Like they say, there's more than one way to skin a cat. I'm gonna skin this bad boy. Get in there. If you don't listen and cooperate, I'm gonna cross thread your butt just so you learn the lesson okay see that was better get the wrench and wrench it in there you're gonna probably if you don't have these thin wrenches you're gonna probably have to go rent it uh fortunately i have them they're old and rusty but they do the job because i tried to do it with that one that i made my homemade one it's too thick i'll show you maybe right now it'll catch because the bolt's not all the way in what am I doing wrenching it when I can just turn it hot till it stops? See, I learned from my mistakes, guys. Over there, wrenching away, well, I can do it this way. Now, when it gets tight, we'll bust out with that other. Okay, now it's tight. We're gonna need that too. But see how thin, how much space you have right there? Oh no, finally. Look how much room you got in there, guys. Okay, let's tighten it. <clears throat> yeah. Okay, let's put this guy in. Remember this guy here? Yeah, this guy. Goes right there in that little hole. Just push it in. There. Okay, now, just look a little bit up right there. And let's put this bad boy in. And when y'all do these, guys, make sure you put them where you're going to be able to reach them next time you do it or whoever does it. Make it easy for them. Don't screw them around. Okay, I'll tighten it with my hand. At work, we have these little things to protect you from cutting. You know, I better turn it. You don't want nobody getting cut with those sharp ends. 
you can still get it from here but that'll be down so it can get cut okay let's tie this bottom one this one i guess just as long as it's facing this way is that it in the right direction this time yeah. That one don't matter. Nobody's gonna be down here goofing around. If they do, they deserve to get cut. Not really. Okay, it's been running for five minutes. I'm seeing no air bubbles and uh, the temperature is still, it's not getting hot. It's right at normal uh, operating temperature. So I'm gonna take it for a drive. Hey guys, well, we're finishing around real good. Uh, sorry it took me this long, but I was doing a lot of stuff in between. I had to go pick up my boys from school, take them out to go eat. Then uh, this friend called me, he was stranded. Went out there and helped him, but we got it done. Uh, thanks for watching, I really appreciate you, like always. God bless.